Today I'm going to show you how to set up our lead generation bundle so that way you can start generating leads today. So we're going to work off of our 10 tasks to tackle before fall arrives. This is a really fun lead generation bundle for the fall time. Uh, now with all of our bundles, they all do work the same. So if you purchase another bundle that isn't this one, it's okay. Still follow the same steps. It will still work the same. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on all of these links and open them up in your browser. So once you open them up, they are going to look like this. And you're going to want to click on this use template right here. And once you do that, it'll automatically open it up into Canva. And now this template is yours to edit freely. So now the next thing that you are going to want to do is you're going to click on the website link. So this is a template of a Canva website. Now this right here, this is something you are going to need to change. So delete this. Okay. Now you're going to open up the 10 fall task. Excuse. Then you're going to open up the Google page that was included. When you click on that link, it will actually send you straight to this website. This name right here should match the bundle that you purchased and you just hit make a copy. Now, now remember, as soon as you hit this make a copy, it will make the copy into whatever Google account you are currently logged into. If you do not know what Google account you are logged into, what you can do, I'm using Chrome right now, so this is based on Chrome. So you can open a new tab. Over here, you can see your little thumbnail, so you can click that. And then here, you have all of your other options to open or you can log into a new account. So that way you can make sure that you are putting it into the correct drive. If you ever need to access your drive, you can open a new tab here, click on these dots and just hit drive and it'll take you to your drive and you can also see who is logged in and what drive you're in by doing that. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to make a copy. Okay, when you're doing that, we're going to open up our drive account like I showed you we're going to click over here on new um, just a little tip Google has now made this home where it always opens into I much prefer going to my drive because this is how I have mine organized into folders um, so that way if you want to keep it more organized that's the best way so we're gonna click new and we're gonna hit new folder and you can name this folder whatever you want um, this is going to be how you protect the free download. So let's say um, this is the fall checklist download. Excuse me. Goodness. Okay. Um, and then we're going to create this. So now we're going to click on this one. This is the one I just made. Fall download checklist. So what we need to do now is once you have this template completed and updated for yourself, you're going to come up and you're going to probably you're, you're going to want to name it whatever you want people to see. We're going to go to download. We're going to change this to PDF standard. And download. Okay, well that downloads, we are going to go back over to our folder here that we created, fall checklist download, and we are going to then upload our guide into our folder. So you can just drag and drop it straight in there. And as soon as it is finished uploading, it will load here. So now we've made our copy over here of our survey. So you're going to want to come up here and make sure you take out copy of so the name, so that way people, you know, don't see that part of it. And then you can write anything you want here. If you want to make people give you more information than just their name and email, you can do that here as well. Okay, so now we need to give access to everyone for this. So what we want to do is we want to go and share it, but we have to make sure that we're allowing people to see it. So we're going to go to share, and we're going to click on that one. And here, instead of restrict it, we're going to come down and do anyone with the link can view it. Okay, copy link. Click done there. So now we're going to go back to our Google Sheet. 
and we're going to click on settings and then we're going to click on patient there it is and I've already have this written out for you all you need to do is change this link here delete there we go okay and now we're going to paste this um, one thing that you will notice is in here it says important you must either copy and paste the link into a new tab or right click the link and open in a new tab and um, I can show you in a little bit what it'll do if they just try to click the link inside of your web page. That is kind of the only bummer thing about this method, but I don't think that it's any big deal for people to right click and click. I don't know about you, but I pretty much right click and click, right click links to open a new tabs almost anytime I'm clicking anyway. So, so now we're going to hit save. So now it is saved with your link here to your checklist here okay so now that we have linked that linked up we can just X out of that now what we're going to do is we need to share this and re-embed it into our web page we need to take our survey here to where we're getting people's information and we need to embed it into our website so this is a little bit of a tricky part so I want to make sure that I go nice and slow so that way everyone can see what I'm doing so we're gonna hit the send button here top right hand we're going to get a link right here and we're going to copy that you can hit copy there with your clipboard or your keyboard and now we're going to go back over to our web page that we created okay so we're going to put it right here so how you do that is you go to apps okay it's over here on your left hand column apps and then you're going to type in embed hit enter and now you're going to see this little blue app click on that then you're going to paste that link that we just copied and add to design and there it is so now we're going to move this over and just resize it a little bit to fit into our website a little bit better now to get rid of this scroll bar you just pull this all the way down it likes to have that little uh, disclaimer in there which so now that that's embedded we're gonna leave it like that let's go ahead and link up our buttons down here um, go to these real quick. so how we're gonna do that is looks like it's a CMA button and then a meeting button so you're going to go to your website grab your instant CMA button so it's that link. I'm going to copy and paste that. I'm going to go back over to our website. I'm going to click on it. Now I'm going to right click. And since, since everything, since this rectangle and the text, I have them grouped together, everything will then be linked. So we're going to right click, go to link. We're going to paste in our link there. Just hit enter. And now this whole thing is automatically linked to go straight to that site. So now if you wanted to link it somewhere else, let's say um, let's do like a contact page I would probably say like this should be like a calendar lead page or somewhere where they could physically make an appointment with you but um, grab that link I copied and pasted that uh, and now I'm gonna right click this link paste that link hit enter and now this whole thing is linked to go straight there now you want to update this um, and you could even make a link to your web or your email you or whatever if you wanted as well <clears throat> Okay, so now we have everything ready to go. Everything looks great. We're going to go to publish. If you want, you can do your own domain. Um, I'm just going to uh, do it just how it is with the free domain. Now, I always recommend to resize on mobile, but also I always recommend to go without navigation. So once it is how you want it to be set up, you hit continue. Here is your URL if you want to edit the very last part of that. You know, it, it is named whatever your name is up here. That's where they come up with this name. So I would definitely customize that. I would also definitely write a description here. Um, this is really good for SEO. And then you're going to hit publish. You can always make edits to your site after you publish it. So now we are going to hit view site. So now anytime anyone uses this web page, um, they will come to this site. 
And so now we're, I'm going to show you how this works. So I'm just going to fill it out with my information here. Hit submit. Great. Thank you. Perfect. So now it says either right click or copy and paste. I'm going to right click on this. And it's taking me straight to the folder in my download. So now if you don't want it to go to the folder, then the link that you would want is this link right here, which you could go like that and just where it would then pop up as the PDF instead of the actual folder, if that was what you wanted. Okay, and then that's it. So this would be the site that, this would be the, excuse me, the URL that you would want to link all of your QR codes to. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. All right, so here's the postcard template. We're gonna use this. Okay, so you've opened it. You've now updated it to have all of your information and say whatever you would like it to say. What we're going to do now is link this QR code so that way people can actually scan this QR code and then it will automatically take them then to this web page. Okay, we're going to link the QR code to this web page so that way you can start generating these leads. So what you want to do is open up the template of the, uh, the postcard because that's what we're working on. We're going to come over to apps and then you can just search again QR. And then that's going to pop up. You have all of these options right here. I'm just going to use this little guy. This is Canva's uh, QR code. I'm going to come over to our website. Keep clicking on the wrong one. And I'm going to just copy this website. I'm going to paste it here. Generate code. Here's my brand new QR code that's going to take everyone directly to the web page that we have customized for our download. I'm going to make this nice and big. I want everybody to get it, right? Just like that. And then scan right there. You could maybe even move yourself over and make it a little bit bigger. Whatever you want to do. But that is how you make your QR code. So now if you were to get out your phone right now and scan this QR code, it is going to take you directly to this website. That is it for this training that shows you all of the ways to now connect all of your pieces.